Hello, Stephen Dean speaking, and today I want to speak about a slightly different subject, uh, the Course of Miracles, and I want to talk about sacred geometry. Now, this is a very simple side of sacred geometry, but it's worth talking about, because uh, I know this has been debunked, but there's a lot of things that have been debunked, but it doesn't mean to say they're not so. Now, it's about numbers. Now, the origin of numbers. Now, numbers, were, first of all, came about from the Arabic, from the Arabic mathematicians, who in turn got their numbers from the Hindu. Like, for example, number one was actually a curve like that. And number two was a curve with a line added to it, which relates to the two we've got today. But it's a strange thing. If we look at these numbers, they all are based on angles, or at least appear to be based on angles. Look, number one, for example, has one angle. Number two has two angles. Number three has three, four, five, six angles, seven angles, if written in the continental way, and eight angles, and nine angles, which uh, has a bit of license there because this little squiggly tail on the end. But when I was a kid, greengrocers back in London and that, for some reason, always drew their nines with a little squiggly tail. Now, I don't know what that is, but it fits in with this theory anyway. And interestingly, <coughs> naught has no angles. Now, every, seeing as that everything, everything in the world is actually from a physical point of view, based on angles, I would say that's pretty sacred. And it seems one hell of a synchronicity that the numbers we use are all a form or based on angles. And the only thing that doesn't have any angles, naught, nothing, corresponds with truth. Because in truth, there's no thing, only oneness. <laughs> okay, thanks very much. I'll see ya.